Hi there, it's Casey Conley, your podcast director here at the Healthcare Experience Foundation. And we are joined today by Terry Maynas. She is a chief nurse and operations executive with Lee Physician Group. And Terry, please, before we kind of jump into your um, professional and personal experiences with the patient experience being so important to you, I, I just actually want to back up and ask how did you get to the position that you're at? What was your professional kind of journey before um, you got to where you're at? Sure. Thank you, Casey, for asking. So my clinical background, I am a registered nurse by clinical training, and I have been a registered nurse for many, many decades. And through that journey, obviously, patient experience and connection with patients and families during their most trying times was very critically important to me. And that's the mission and the journey and the passion that I carried forward into my role as an administrator now, as a chief nurse and vice president for Lee Physician Group. That still remains the core focus of what we do. We are healthcare providers and professionals. We connect with patients and families and we listen. That is very, very well said. And now let's jump into, of course, if you're comfortable sharing it with our audience, I, I would love to hear your own personal experiences with why the patient experience journey is so important to you right now. And of course, you know, you were able to blend that personal passion for the patient experience with your you know, professional work here with Lee. So tell us about that. Sure. And this is a very personal story. My father died from metastatic lung cancer three and a half, four years ago. And during, during that journey from diagnosis to his death, we experienced the complete continuum of patient experience from the healthcare providers uh, whom were caring for him. We experienced extremely positive, warm, genuine and, and compassionate care from a, from a group of healthcare providers, which was very comforting to my family and myself. And we really felt that, that we were being listened to and that my father was getting very good care. And then on the flip side of that, we experienced very poor patient experience. Um, unfortunately, from some of the very key physicians that were involved in his care, and that was a very stressful time for my family. We felt no one was listening to us. Um, my father was just a number. There, was, there were a lot of suggestions around his care that I knew clinically and professionally were not the right, were not the right care pathways for him. My objections were not listened to. There was an attempt to overrule them. And it was a very stressful time for my family. So. I carry that with me because I don't want our patients to experience that same thing. I want all of our interactions with our patients to be warm, positive, and caring. Yeah, thank you so much for you know opening up and sharing that story. Our team here at the Healthcare Experience Foundation has had the privilege of working with you, and and we did know that story and thought it was really you know powerful enough to want to have to share with all of our listeners because as you know as silver linings are in that story and it's it's important to to get that out there so honestly thank you for your bravery and sharing that and being open and candid um kind of want to shift the conversation now to what your ambitions are for patient experience excellence with you know lee physician group Absolutely. So Lee, Lee Physician Group is really on a patient experience journey, excellence, a journey of excellence. And we have made tremendous progress in the last 24 months, much because of our partnership with you and your organization to help us understand what are the tools that we need to provide our clinicians with in order to help them improve their patient experience scores and overall then the physician group's patient experience scores. It's certainly one thing to go to a group of clinicians and say, your patient experience scores aren't really where we would like them to be, so please improve them. Well, that statement then needs to be followed up by, here's how we can help you do that. Here's a set of tools you can use. Here's some feedback loops we can engage you in. Here's some training and education that we can enroll you in. 
and give them tools to do the work. Much of this work is not rock and science. It is simple human listening and connection. And many times we miss that. Um, an, an example of that that I can share with you is we had one of our patient experience experts was shadowing a physician who frankly struggling with his patient experience scores but a, a genuinely kind and extremely skilled physician, but was just missing a couple of pieces. One of the things that she observed in a patient interaction with him was the, the woman came in and was somewhat tearful and a little quiet and, and a little reserved. And he said, you seem to be a little reserved today or, or you seem to be a little different than I've seen you in the past. And she said, well, my husband died two weeks ago. And instead of responding in an appropriate sympathetic and empathetic fashion, the physician went immediately to what lab work he was going to order. So that was a big red and, and not, not being conscious of the information that was just shared to him. In other words, he did not listen and then take that moment to express his condolences and sympathy, but instead immediately went to the clinical task that was before him. Those are the kinds of things that we want to, our physicians and our clinicians and our advanced providers to be able to recognize, to have that self-insight, to take a moment to, to ingest, what did the patient just tell me? and then respond appropriately. That is the core of the experience. And that is what we are attempting to strive for at Lee Physician Group. That's powerful. And you know, anyone who listens to this podcast regularly knows I always leave the guest with a chance to give us their final word. Um, so if there's any other final thoughts or anything else you wanted to leave with us regarding, you know, your hopes for every single patient encounter, or even, you know, any of the anything else that you, you wanted to make mention of, go ahead and, and do it now before we wrap up. Sure. So my hope again is that when patients come to Lee Physician Group, they experience something different. They experience a wow factor. They experience a, someone was listening to what I had to say. And that's really what, what we would like to be able to provide. We provide excellent clinical care, but just about so does everybody else. The patient expects competence in your clinical care but they are thrilled when they get the compassion piece that goes along with it. You've been listening to Terry Maness. She's chief nurse and operations executive with Lee Physician Group. It's been a really important discussion we've had today, and I really encourage folks to, to go back and re-listen to it, especially that beginning um, part with the, the really important story that Terry shared with us. Terry, thank you again for your time today. Thank you very much. My pleasure.